Uh, I mean, I love morning sunrise. You know, the sunrises out here are beautiful, and uh, like this morning when you can watch it from the back of a horse, I mean, that's really about as good as it gets. It's breathtaking. We've got about 130 in here, too. Tucked away under the Oklahoma sky in a corner of God's country, otherwise known as Osage County. Kick over that south side, there was one calf hanging on that south fence. I don't know if it goes across the fence or if he just came away from his mama right there. A rugged place, largely unchanged by time, and the kind of place that generations proudly call home. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm definitely a cowboy. I mean, everybody here, I mean, all these guys earn their living uh, working cattle. So everybody here is a cowboy. Lad Drummond, widely known as the Marlboro Man, thanks to his wife, Ree, the pioneer woman, isn't just a face on television. He's a genuine Oklahoma cowboy. It runs in the family. You know, I love this pond here because I've got some great old photos of my dad sorting cattle with his dad and his grandfather, you know, sorting cattle here around this pond. Bull. The ranch is a modern day version of a family dream that started 130 years ago, when the first Drummond, Frederick, a Scottish immigrant, moved to what was then Indian Territory. They've been ranching cattle longer than Oklahoma has been a state, an unbroken chain of Drummonds, living the cowboy life, living an Oklahoma dream. But you know, it's the probably the best part for me is just the family aspect. You know, I, I work with my dad, I get to work with my kids, I work with my brother, and you know, and then you know the guys that have been with us for 20 years, they're like family too. So he says for a time in college, he wasn't planning on continuing the family tradition, but there's something about this place and the feeling it gives you. Really, it's a beautiful area. I love it. it. A lot of people look at it and they think it's flat, but you got your rolling hills, you got your creeks with your trees, and you know, it's 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 a beautiful country. I love every bit of it. The beauty comes at the price of hard work and early mornings. And when you depend on God for the sunshine, the rain, the wind, and the warmth, faith becomes a priority on the prairie. It's just something out here where you have no control over the weather. You just gotta, you gotta trust God and just pray it all works out. God has answered this cowboy's prayer. I mean, it really just doesn't get any better than this. When your grass is big and your country looks good and the ponds are full, I mean, that's about as good as it wants to get. He's not sure his kids want to take the reins when he's done, but he knows the ranch has a pull, its own center of gravity that can't be ignored. A call to a cowboy, to his family, and to a tradition that's alive and well. Hey, do you mind kind of ride over there in that grass make sure there's no cans right there?